Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we have a bin of empties. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There's not a ton of empty product this round, mainly because I've just been using things up and a lot of them aren't finished yet. I've also been out of the house quite a bit, so I haven't really been home to finish a lot of product, but my bin is still at a fairly good level and we're already well into a week of April. So I figured let's sit down and let's share what I've been using. Now, this might be a little bit of a different setup. I feel like I change back and forth with my setup, but I'm in my living room today. So you might see a cat or two, who knows? But without further ado, let's get into it. If you remember from my last empties video, I had two fluffy towels candles. One was finished and one was almost finished. So I did go ahead and finish this guy. Doesn't want to focus, but it is fluffy towels. And I love this scent. I talked about it before. It is the crispest, freshest linen fragrance with like a hint of a citrus lemon. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. So definitely will be a repurchase. This is a great Yankee Candle. The next I finished from Matt Matthews. Happy whatever the F day it is. Here we go. Happy whatever the F day it is. Lemon Pound Cake. He's super snarky, super fun. I finished that. And we have this completely finished candle, 100% soy. This was a great lemon pound cake scent. If you like ice lemon pound cake from Bath and Body Works, I think you might like this one. It's a little bit more fresh lemon, really a great one. So I finished that one up. The next one I finished, this was interesting. I finished from Kringle Candle, Eucalyptus and Cotton. Now there are scent notes on the bottom here which is quite nice. But the notes read, eucalyptus, clean cotton, lemon, bergamot, sage, white powder, white musk, amber, and soft woods. This was a very crisp, fresh cotton. Whereas the fluffy towels from Yankee is more of a citrus, like a lemon, yeah, like a citrus lemon zest in the background. This is like straight up cotton towels cotton laundry with a hint of that fresh eucalyptus, which I would like to see it without the eucalyptus. I know some people, I think it was my friend Katie, she actually gifted this one. I'm quote, Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but Katie, I believe you gifted this one because it was a little too overwhelming. I didn't feel that it was overwhelming. I like those clean, fresh scents with the spring. These, This I burned on days when I had my window open just to really freshen up the air and it added a nice background scent. But it's not one I would ever repurchase. This was gifted to me in PR. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, but I really enjoyed it. But yeah, again, it's not one that I would seek out to repurchase. Now let's crack on to this guy. Goose Creek just showered. Okay, so I placed one order with Goose Creek. Probably be my last with Goose Creek. I popped this guy in the candle crock. It was super unscented. I could barely smell this. There's no notes on it, but on cold, it was like, a really rich men's cologne or men's body wash. It smelled really, really great. I burned up my living room one day, couldn't smell it. Popped it in my bathroom, couldn't smell it. Popped it in my office, could not smell it. So finally, after a couple burns, I threw her in the candle crock to finish the life and it never, ever threw. I never got a throw from this. I don't know, Goose Creek is very hit or miss for me. And after burning a few of them, I have no interest in retrying them. The um, They also get pretty, pretty sooty when you burn them for too long. These are definitely like a three-hour burn candle. But yeah, not, not the biggest fan of Goose Creek, so I would not repurchase them. This, oh, this is from last year. It has not come back this year. Cozy Linen and Nectarine from Bath & Body Works. This was a great candle through and through. I will say the last couple burns were super slow burners, but Puny Wicks, that's just to be expected with Bath & Body Works. White nectarine, fresh linens, warm sandalwood, and sweet musk. This was beautiful. Similar to the Fluffy Towels fragrance where 
You had the fresh linen. You had that really like wash sheets that are hanging out to dry that have that Christmas of the spring air. Really beautiful with a hint of that fruity, dripping nectarine. This is a beautiful spring fragrance. I burned through one last year, bought it back up at some annual sale and kept it till this year. It has not come back this year. I would love to see this in wallflowers. I think this would be a great wallflower as a background fragrance. It's just really, really great. Performs well, smells great, great throw, highlight, love candle. Speaking of love candle, this is a fresh cut lilacs from this year. Now, I have not purchased a Bath & Body Works candle this year. This was an exchange. I don't even remember what I exchanged for this one. But I was like, I don't even know what to get because like nothing's really impressing me. And the burns are just so terrible lately with Bath & Body Works. So I just exchanged for a Fresh Cut Lilacs. I actually have four Fresh Cut Lilacs single wicks that are going throughout the house this week that I got from semi-annual sale for like like $1.50. They were like super cheap. They were the tester candles they used to use for wallflowers. So I had those going. I had two in my dining room, one in here, one in the kitchen, and then I had this on my coffee table in the three wick burning. This finished first. Spoiler alert, all those single wicks are trash. Like they're barely burning. I mean, you can't smell them. I also have a scent control right here, wallflower in fresh cut lilac. So it's a lilac month. In my living room, I'm actually burning the new Yankee Candle Three Wick Lilac Blossoms that I got with my birthday. Um, it was a free large candle for your birthday, but I didn't want to just go in and not buy anything. So I purchased one of the Three Wicks. They were on sale like 40% off. So I will have a review on that in my empties. It'll probably be in my next one because it's about halfway. Spoiler alert, I, I don't think they're for me. Yankee's just not in the direction I want them to be. Anyway, back to Fresh Cut Lilacs. Lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. It's a very powdery lilac. It's a very fresh lilac. If you know me, you know I absolutely love a lilac fragrance. It did get pretty slow on the burns towards the end, but otherwise it did perform well. But I mean, full disclosure, is it the wallflower performing well? Was it the candle? Or was it a combination of the six lilac candles that I had burning that day? Who's to say? But otherwise, I did really enjoy that one. I did want to touch on a candle that's just about to be finished. I'm going to insert a B-roll here. The White Tea and Roses. Isn't that what it's called? Now I can't remember. But it literally, as I looked over my dining room, one of the flames just extinguished now. I filmed this video earlier this morning. This was a country candle, which is part of the Kringle line, also given to me as an ambassador for PR review. I'm not having the best luck with the country candles. I did really like the uh, the cake pops, but this one is really, it was really struggling for me in performance. I know Mick is still fondling with the wicks. Like they're just, they're just not really working for me. And hopefully they get perfected soon. But the wicks on here, I did not burn, I did not trim the wicks the whole time, especially the first burn. The last couple burns have actually been pretty good. I've been burning them for about four or five hours, but the last ones, no, they were not performing well. Like, or the first ones, I would say like four or five burns of it. I mean, it's a, it's a big candle. It burns for a long time. They were just super small. You could barely, barely, barely keep them lit. And, but now it's doing well all the way up until the end. So I don't know. It's definitely something that should be working, that he should be working on. I think he is. But yeah, again, I get sent product to review. I'm going to review it honestly. I'm not going to say, oh my God, it's great. What it's not. It's not great yet. I'm not really getting any throw. It's in a hurricane. This is a hurricane that I got from Pottery Barn. It's just not performing the best. So, oh well, I, I'll stick with my Kringle candles until it's fixed. I still have a couple more from PR. I think it's starting to get warm. I think the end of next week, it's going to be in the 80s here. Ugh, I hate that weather. I hate hot weather. So I think that strawberry lemonade is going to be in the lineup next week when I need something really hot, refreshing with that weather. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so we we shall see, but it is almost finished and it did perform well towards the end. I didn't get much throw from it, but what I did smell was beautiful. It was like this perfect, like 
like tea leaves, like, you know, steeping white tea leaves with a hint of a soft floral from the rose and lemon. It was very pretty, very elegant, really great bathroom scent. I might pick up a few of the wax melts to see how they perform. I still haven't used any Kringle wax melts, so I can't speak on their performance, but I did really, really enjoy the scent, just not the burn. All right, so moving on to the other things that I finished up. I finished Bone Bone Dry, the Scentsy Fragrance Flower Trio in Perfectly Cute. Now, I'll be honest, I could not believe how much wax, how much wax, how much oil this trio sucked up, but I hope they continue to make these. This was amazing. I had this going the entire time in my office and it performed so well. Every time I walked in there, I got a hint of fragrance. I loved the way it looked. I think it looks pretty cool seeing all the stems of the wicks of the flowers in here. Really enjoyed it. I let me know if you guys experienced this. I feel like the fragrance flowers from Scentsy are also very hit or miss. As you can see, do you see right here? Right here is a little reed diffuser. It's a fragrance flower that just completely stopped diffusing. I have another one in my kitchen that was the poinsettia from Christmas. It like diffused for a week and then completely stopped. The, the, uh, the flower was completely saturated, but it never diffused any other oil. I moved it from room to room, nothing. So I threw the flower out just this week and I ordered from Amazon plain reeds and I'm going to finish diffusing the oil that was in winterberry apple tea, which I love. This one is aloe water and cucumber. I love, but I got nothing from them like halfway through and they, they're just sitting in oil and some people are like, look how long they last. They're not doing anything. Like it, it depends on like what it is. Like this performed all the way down, suck the oil up. That it's not diffusing anything anymore because they're, the oil's just sitting there. So I don't know how I feel about all these new flowers because it doesn't seem like they're really working well. I don't know. Either way, I bought reeds to use and the reeds are actually working pretty, pretty well for me. All right, let's talk some wax. I did not do a ton of wax this week, you guys, or this time. I really didn't. I didn't get through a lot. I finished a pink berry sandalwood from Scentsy. This was okay. It was a light sandalwood scent. As far as pink berry goes, it almost smells like a like a concoction of strawberry, blueberry, not blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, like a little bit of that, like a a sweet, light, pink, fruity, like woodsy fragrance. I did the whole bar in my bedroom. I performed for a couple days. Nothing to write home about. I definitely did not feel like it was club worthy. Kindness from the Mother's Day collection, another one that just was fine. I have it in my office. It was just a very sharp floral. This is the type of floral that I don't care for. It's like sharp, almost a little bit metallic-y. Yeah, it's just not my favorite. Every time I walked in the office, though, I could smell it because it was a scent I just did not care for. And I kept noticing it in the air. So I did not like the way that that performed. Well, I like the way it performed. I just didn't like the scent. And then I did from Beauty and the Beast, The Last Petal. This was okay. I had this going a couple times in my bathroom. It's a very rosy scent. You can see there's like tons of oil left in here. Tons of oil. Um, yeah, it performed well. Very strong. It's like a rosy, little bit of a fruity scent, but definitely an emphasis on the rose, which would make sense. The last petal, roses, Beauty and the Beast. So that was all the scentsy I have for the week. I finished a couple vendory type of things. I did Jumpin' Jelly Bean from Candles by Victoria. I was expecting this guy to be a dupe of Scentsy's. It was not. It was just like a sour jelly bean scent. But the Scentsy one was like a, a candy pear, which I really liked. And this did not perform well for me. I did ugh, Serendipity, also from Candles by Victoria. I did this in my laundry room. Uh-uh. I like Serendipity typically from vendors. It's like a coconut cherry scent, which are two scents I don't really love, but together I enjoy them. But this smelled like a lotion, like a body care, like cherry almond body care that I did not care for. I finished straight up Rose in the kitchen from Candles by Victoria. Um, 
it's not necessarily rosy to me. Like when I smell the last petal from Scentsy, that rose that I get there is a very powdery, fresh rose floral, where this is more of a sweet candied floral almost. I did it in the kitchen in a hot plate warmer when I had like the lilac day going all over to just add a little bit of an extra floral, but I really didn't notice much. I did some Old Town Bake Shop from Fantasy Wax Melts. I don't even remember when I did this. I must have been burning. Maybe when I did this lemon pound cake. I, I don't remember. I just finished it up. And now the rest is like beauty or, you know, home things. I finished Everspring All-Purpose Cleaner Mandarin and Ginger from Target. I keep forgetting that I have this stuff. I actually brought this in my car and was cleaning my car with it. Um, another upcoming thing, now that this is empty, I put in Scentsy Swipes from Scentsy in Squeeze the Day. Really like them. I think that's a great car thing to leave the tub in your car. If you have a spill or you just want to clean your car like dashboard or steering wheel or anything, really, really liked that. I finished Tutti Fruity Candy in the Gel Soap from Bath & Body Works. Sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Really like this. The scent was fine. It's like a fruity, like a fruity candy scent, like a candy jelly bean scent, but it was so funny. I started this about a week and a half before, maybe two weeks. Somebody's not happy. Knock it off. Anyway, I did this about two weeks before Easter. It finished on Easter day. Like I definitely am aggressive with the hand washing. I definitely use more pumps than needed, but I worked it out perfectly where I finished this on Easter. So that was great. And I do prefer Bath & Body Works gel soaps versus the foam. I know, hot take, controversial opinion. I do. I prefer the gel soaps over the foam. I finished the moisturizing body wash in warm vanilla sugar. I don't think you can ever, man, this camera's like not, it's like not focusing today. In warm vanilla sugar, intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Mm, I love warm vanilla sugar. It smells different in the tube because it's older, but I don't know. I really liked it. I like the moisturizing body wash formula. They lather enough. They're thick enough. I use it on like a loofah thing that I have. Um, it's a silicone loofah. I don't use loofahs anymore because of all the bacteria, but yeah, really enjoyed it. That I finished as far as skincare goes. Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. I love this stuff. This is a lactic acid exfoliator. I use this a couple times a week. Really just brightens the skin. If I'm feeling a little bit congested, like the stupid pimple here. Ugh. Using a little bit of this really helps my skin. Really like it. You know it's a good product when you cut into it to use up the last bits of it. This is from Skin Rocks. This is their cream cleanser. If you don't know Skin Rocks, if you don't know Caroline Hirons, please look her up. She is uh, my idol. I've read both of her skincare books. Every skincare tip that I've learned has been from her. She's incredible. I always look up to her. I want to put more videos of skincare up because I've been super into it lately. Into everything like health, the gym, putting like that mindset in that, you know, there's only one body and, you know, you really need to take care of it from the inside out. And skincare is super, super important. There's only so much makeup can do and I don't want to wear makeup. I want to embrace the skin that I'm in. So if I have a pimple like this, it like bothers me. So anyway, finish the cream cleanser. It is on the pricey side, but you have to remember she's an independent brand and it costs a lot more money to manufacture for a smaller company. She's not ordering 5 million bottles from the manufacturer, you know? So it costs a lot more to get smaller amounts. But this is a cleansing cream. I use it as my first cleanse in the morning, my second cleanse at night. If you're not familiar, you should double cleanse at night using like an oil-based cleanser or a balm to take off like your sunscreen or if you do wear makeup, makeup, anything like that and then go in with a cleanser to really cleanse your face of the dirt, grime, and oils. But I love this stuff. It doesn't really lather. This is the scented version. She, what is so awesome is she knows that people do like skincare with fragrance. It's fun, but some people don't. So she offers it in both. I actually do have both. This just happens to be the fragrance version. The fragrance was like a light citrusy lemon, like a sparkling water type of scent. Really, really pretty. 
um, but I didn't really notice it enough. So I'm just gonna stick with unscented and fragrance free. And I did reorder some of this, so really enjoy that. And then last but not least, the most important, if you don't do any skincare, I also cut into this to get the last drops out, is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Everybody and their mother talks about this stuff. It is great. This is the SPF 40. I love the texture. It's like this really awesome, um, like gelatinous type of feel. It's really great and it goes right in the skin and I use that every single day before I leave the house because it's super important to put on your sunscreen. And now after 20 minutes, my bin is empty yet again, ready to be filled with all the things that I used up for the month. So, or the month, the week, depending on when it's full. And I get time to sit down and share with you guys. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a very exciting video coming towards the end of the week. I am filming this today on Wednesday. Hopefully it'll be up on Saturday. The Kringle Reserve candles. I ordered 10 candles plus five from before that I'm combining in a haul. It's a very exciting reserve haul. So can't wait to sit down and share with you guys. And most of them are still available. So I'm excited to share. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.